Hi everybody, um, exciting day for me today. I received a, a seed haul. Um, first off, a big shout out to Wesley and to Peyton. They are my two youngest subscribers, very keen gardeners. Well done guys, keep going. If you have any questions or anything that you'd like to ask, please put it in the comment section and I will do my best to get back to you or maybe even do a little bit, a little video about what you're asking about. Right, so these are not vegetable uh, seeds. These are purely cut flowers or flowers that you can use in a cut garden or flowers that you can just have in your garden that are pretty. We'll start off with Ami. Ami is the... The common name is Queen Anne's Lace. Gorgeous flower. I'm going to try and find a pick and I'll put it up on the screen. It has a flat base. So if you can see my hand, the flower is almost as big as my hand. It's flat um, with white, tiny little flowers on top of it. And then um, what it does is it attracts bees and butterflies like crazy. So you want pollinators in your garden? Get Ami. Um, or like I say Queen Anne's Lace. You've got another lace flower. This is dark chocolate the Family of the Ami, which is by the way family of the carrot. You don't get carrots though from it You just we grow it for the flowers. This is a chocolatey color also flat flower when it Closes the flower when it starts producing seed it closes into a clump like that which you can use in flower arrangements as well um then we'll go on to sunflowers. I've got a white night sunflower. Can you believe it? You get a white sunflower. Who would have thought? You get a cherry one as well, but the white is magnificent. First time I'm growing this. So when it comes up and it's flowering, I will definitely take pics or a video and I'll show you. This is the star flower, um, hence its name. It's blue, um, gorgeous. Um, I'm just trying to think. I'll put a picture up of it so that I don't have to describe what it's what it's like. This is Love in a Puff, a very fun plant. It's a creeper, and then what it does is it's sort of a vine, and it'll grow along a trellis or whatever you have, but then it creates little um, balls that are sort of puffed up, almost like balloons. So also, so much fun having in a flower arrangement, just so much fun having in your garden. This in here, Unfortunately, you can see the package opened a little bit. It's an amaranthus, emerald gold, sorry, emerald tassels. It's obviously emerald being green. And then when it grows, it grows tall. And then the flowers sort of fall over and make like tassels. Also quite pretty in a flower arrangement. Um, then we've got broom corn. Hence the name. It looks like a broom. Um, grows very upright and um, has seeds almost like a millet. I'll pop a picture on on the screen for you has lots of little seed pods all the way up its stem um, also very nice to use in a flower arrangement and now I'm going to try and pronounce this name it's called Bup Lurium or Bup Lurium um, quite a pretty plant it has yellow flowers um, sort of long stems and then these yellow flowers yellow chartreuse um, if you don't know what chartreuse is, have a look at it uh, on Google. It's like a greeny yellow. It's a very bright pop of a color. Um, exquisite. So I'm going to be planting these up into my egg boxes. Thank you, Sandy Narraway, for those. And um, I will walk you through the process. <music> 